peeps, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the sewing room. It's about half seven again. I have had a day of kind of admin and editing and that kind of stuff. And then I had a video date with Wilson and then down here for some sewing this evening. I am going to get on with my simplicity top. Still not overly enthused about it. It's going to be interesting to see how it turns out. It's either going to be really pretty or it's going to not work. I'm kind of thinking it's not going to work, but we'll try because we need to try these things. And I've used an inexpensive quilting cotton that I had in my stash. So, you know, if it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. Chiana is much more her usual self. She's still not eating very much, but she's also not, I'm not putting very much out for her and she's not screaming at me and trying to bite me and get get food more food which she usually does i have had a little bit of an incident though i was saying because she can't clean herself she's been washing and licking me a lot and she kind of gets into a zone and just keeps doing it in the same spot and that is that was a bite from a bug but then this one here has actually been rubbed raw by her licking me i woke, got woken up this morning with her going at my wrist i was just like oh no no um, it's like like i say the a cat's tongues have barbs on them it helps them to get the meat off the bone and so like you know hopefully she's not that hungry that she's trying to eat me but yes yes she is much more herself which is great and her surgical onesie can come off on thursday which is also great i am up to season seven of dexter so i just started that so i am going to watch some of that try and get this top sewn and we'll see how it comes out. I've not worn the appropriate outfit to try it on later. I've got my beach pajamas on again, so I'm gonna probably have to tie those around my waist to try it on, and uh, we'll see how uh, how that looks, whether or not I show you that, that this evening. This may end up being a two day vlog, if it, if it, yeah, because I don't, yeah, it, it might look awful, but we'll see, we shall see. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling at you because yesterday was a lot of waffles, so let's get into some sewing. One eternity later. Okay, I actually got quite a bit done this afternoon. Well, no, this evening. It's now quarter past 11. So I've got the main body of the shirt together. I'm kind of liking how this has come out, actually. I really hope I'm going to like it on. I have noticed the when I've looked at it online, the ones that everybody's wearing, there is a large section of poofiness in this back portion here. And I'm thinking that if I find that I have that as well, I could actually just moot the pleats slightly further up to kind of try and corral that poofiness a little bit more. But I haven't tried it on yet because I still need to attach the sleeve bands, which I have made. I need to attach those to the ends of the sleeves to get those finished off. But as I say, it's quarter past 11 and I am getting a little bit tired. So I am going to call it a night for the day. I don't want to do anything that I'm going to mess up. But I'm kind of liking how this has come out. The collar is really pretty. I like that it's got this kind of like dipped bit at the back. I like the circular, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but there's a semicircle yoke. I have changed a few pieces. I've actually cut two yokes and used the second yoke to finish off the inside so there's a clean finish in there. I of course have French seamed everything because this is me. Yeah, it's actually been quite a fun sew. I have been enjoying it. Still not sure if I'm going to like it because like I say, having looked at the pictures of other people's completed garments online, there was kind of like odd poofiness in places, but I'm thinking that I can corral that if that does occur. I think it's going to be an interesting one. We shall see. But there isn't too much kind of fabric bunching in this area i don't think again i need to try it on once it's finished and we'll see so i'm gonna put it down for now and go and spend the rest of the evening with chiana watching a little bit more dexter and having a giant glass of orange squash because my throat is really dry it's a really short one today and this will probably get tacked on to tomorrow's vlog so i hope you've enjoyed the little bit of waffle and tomorrow i will be showing you a finished shirt which is going to be awesome so yes i shall see you all tomorrow bye hey peeps happy wednesday i am back in the sewing room i'm going to get my shirt finished today still got the sleeve bands or cuffs to put on and then the sleeve facings to put on buttons and buttonholes and then deciding whether i'm going to top stitch around the front edge or not not sure yet Poss possibly possibly we shall see i think i showed you it last night i'm kind of liking how it's turned out so far 
yeah I think I'm just a bit worried it's going to be a bit too kind of blues on in this area which is not a look that I personally like all that much but I like like I mentioned yesterday I think I can just take the pleats up a bit further to maybe combat that but we shall see so I'm gonna get the sleeves sewn on buttons and buttonholes and then I'll show you what it looks like I am actually in PJs today I uh, yes P PJ day so again I haven't put the perfect thing on to uh, show you the finished garment with but I will be doing like fully made up twirls and a look at this in the lookbook video and also the sew along kind of like you, you get to see it in all its glory then properly styled that will come at some point in the future not too distant future anyway I'm going to stop waffling at you and get on with some sewing later okay so shirt is finished and I really like the front but what is going on with this that is just that's madness it does fit really well around here which is nice with all the tucks I think they've fitted in nicely and they're going to look really good either worn like this or tucked into a skirt or trousers but I just I just don't like all this voluminousness back here and it's because it sticks out I wouldn't mind so much if it was kind of corralled down a bit but yeah I just mm. So, but I, I, I do kind of like the cuffs. There is still a lot of fabric in this area, which, you know, we were talking about grown on sleeves and yes. And then the collar is rather statement, but again, this is like a vintage pattern. So that's what the collar is meant to look like. So I like all these parts, but the back is way too poofy for me. So I'm going to go back and sew the tucks up a little bit further and see if I can help corral the fullness that way. I may even try kind of pulling the fabric down and putting in some like horizontal stitches and see if just to see if I can make it look a bit better because I just, I don't like this. I don't like, I don't like how big and poofy that part is. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a see, we'll give it a try and see what happens. A few inches later. I think I've come up with a solution. I have sewn the six back pleats up a further eight and a half inches and it now looks like this which so there's still a little bit of the ruching and gathering at the very top here but it's it's all corralled all that excess poof is corralled into the pleats it does make it a snugger fit but it still fits well it was quite a loose fit to start with if you do follow the sew along i will say in the sew along that if you decide to follow this and it was a you were your measurements came out as a snug fit you might want to consider going up a size but it's much i i much prefer it now without that poof at the back that just really wasn't me and I couldn't think of any other way of getting rid of it other than sewing down the pleats further I have got the result that I wanted so that's good I like the kind of that it's all skimming over here so that's nice as I mentioned the collar is giant but that's nice as well I've got the the collar kind of comes into um, a point at the back at the back there and there is a semi-circular yoke and the little cuffs so it's overall it's a nice shirt I don't think I would rush to make it again and I definitely won't make the longer sleeved version because there's already there is quite a lot of bunching here but I think I get away with it because it's a shorter sleeve I'm pleased I made it I am pleased I gave it a try but I don't think it's going to be one that I rush to make again I think it will get worn. We'll see. We'll see how long it survives survives in the wardrobe. So yeah, pleased with that. Now the only thing I have left to do is the hemming. I need to get on with that. I didn't get on with the hemming. I have decided that I'm going to do that when I get back from London because that's the next big, big video that I'm going to work on. I need to get the laser level that is going to be ordered over this weekend. I will get to all of the hemming when I get back which means that my productivity for August has been two tops. <laughs> it's really not very good, but I have made so many things in sort of the end of June, beginning of July, like a lot of things. 
it works it evens out it's one of those things i do have months that i am very unproductive and this just happens to have been one of them i having looked back at the footage of the shirt that i finished today i'm really glad that i played around with the back because i could so easily have just gone no this is not for me i think now that the back is all pleated down i actually think it's quite a nice shirt i don't think it's going to be something that i want to make again because there are there are different types of shirts out there and i have come to the realization that the grown on sleeve is just not for me or not any longer than that i think that was the longest i could get away with there are other shirt patterns out there that i prefer i have a lot of them so i'm going to work my way through some of those definitely there'll be some of those coming up for votes on patreon at the moment on patreon i have knit tops for next month so along because uh, tops won the overall vote of what kind of garment the patreon peeps would like to see so knit tops is coming up next i am going to spend tomorrow filming i need to film the intros outros twirls and what you'll need for the two sew alongs that i've done and then i'll be able to edit those and get those out i have a get the look for less video researched and i am just spending the rest of this evening getting all of the garments up and then the patterns up so that i can film that easily tomorrow i also have a patreon july and august one take waffle to film so i'm going to get that Done. I may start filming the rest of my lookbook. I have eight dresses to hem, I have realised. Not seven, eight. There was one hiding. I won't be able to film those eight things, but I have an entire wardrobe of stuff that needs to be filmed for the lookbook. So I'm thinking I might, because I'm going to do hair and makeup tomorrow for the rest of the filming so i'm thinking that i might get those bits and pieces filmed then as i say when i come back i can do the hemming video which will mean i'll have those final eight garments hemmed which will be the what i made in july and august lookbook i think that will make sense and that's what i'm going to get done tomorrow and i think i've got enough time to do that tomorrow i am going to have to work around mum but there are certain bits that i can do that won't need quiet for me to film like all the twirls and stuff which is why i'm thinking i might get those done and then i need to just work around when mum goes out for dog walking and when she finishes for the evening i can film the chatty bits as well so that's the plan for tomorrow but i realized i've been editing the vlog from the last couple of days and realized i hadn't said goodbye to you guys so i thought i'd just hop on and let you know what i got done for the rest of the evening which is basically nothing but that's totally fine because it is the evening so i hope you enjoyed the last couple of days i hope you like the shirt let me know what you think in the comments down below would you have sewn the back pleats up like I did or would you have just embraced the blues on kind of weirdness <laughs> the poofy poofy bit the poofy poofy back yeah let me know in the comments down below what you think and on that note I will see you all tomorrow